The Pharisees were never happy with the miracles of Jesus. They deliberately turned blind eyes to the free salvation Jesus brought to mankind. They knew of the coming of Jesus, yet they rejected the gospel of Christ and were determined to crucify Jesus Christ at all costs. The Pharisees committed blasphemy when they accused Jesus of using demonic power to heal a possessed man. Blasphemy is a dishonor to God. They also blamed Jesus for working on the Sabbath day, which was a day of rest. This they did because they were unable to heal the possessed man. They were jealous of Jesus Christ and opposed him. They saw the power of God in Jesus' life, but denied the power thereof. Jesus, who could read through their thoughts, explained that Satan could never be divided against himself, as a divided nation will not stand but fall. Therefore, it was impossible for Jesus to have used the devil's powers to heal the devil's captives. That would have been working against his original plans. Jesus delivered the possessed man because he had the power of God, the greatest power. The Pharisees were religious, but not righteous. Are you only religious, but not in right standing with God? You may claim to be a Christian, but if you do not manifest the fruits of Christ, you will not enter the kingdom of God. It is either you serve God or you serve the devil. Regardless of your position in the church, your life determines your eternal destination. You may appear righteous to others, but God sees your intentions and hidden agendas. The Bible says all sin shall be forgiven except the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Miracles are evidence of God's power in the life of a true believer. It is not right to doubt these miracles performed by God to show his power to mankind. Everyone will give account of the words they speak on Judgment Day. Your words will either set you free or condemn you. Examine your life. Do you see the traits of the Pharisees in your life? There is still hope for you. If you confess and ask for forgiveness, he is willing to save you. You can repent before it becomes too late. Remember, your choice not to serve God is a choice to serve the devil. Compromise is not an option. Like the video if you believe this message contains something that could change your life. Please don't ignore it.